Hello, a small update on my Project Eden here uh, and the hydrogen bubbler. Uh, now I had to do some modifications. Uh, originally, like you can see in the last video, I had the gas chamber up here, extending over here, and the gas coming out here. The idea was that I would have metal tiles all the way, and uh, that would transfer heat. The problem I ran into was pretty much that the hydrogen that got let out here built up pressure but didn't transfer over to the pumps fast enough so they actually ended up in vacuum and not really transferring through enough uh, uh, gas right so I actually moved it over here uh, and just made it smaller second thing I did was actually uh, one pump only uh, pumps about 500 grams but the gas pipes can actually take uh, a full uh, kilo of gas right and, and same with um, uh, thermoregulator. So what I did was actually the pump I used to pump out to create a vacuum here before I pumped in the hydrogen I'm now using to actually fill up. So I'm filling up from two different pipes, right? Uh, so I've been keeping this running a little bit now and It seems to work apart from those changes. I had to make uh, the rest actually works really nice I actually had to put on the a cooling system immediately uh, because these were heating up really really fast so what I did was I pumped up some water from my base below and and started with uh, letting it flow like this in the staircase right um, I probably will need to shut this down quite soon after I test the max output of it uh, because otherwise I don't want this really colder than it is and it's outputting a lot of really cold uh, oxygen so when it comes to it, like I need to uh, I need to to, to convert enough oxygen for three duplicants, right? And uh, if we look at, uh, it's gonna lag a little bit now, yeah. All right, so if we look at uh, earlier, right? So inhaling, like this is normal, this is not like diabetes, lungs or not something like that. Oh, she has diarrhea, that's not good. Uh, so they, they use 100 grams per second, right? Right now, what I'm pumping in is uh, 500 grams per second, right? And everything actually gets through. These ones are even shutting down a little periodically, so I could probably get in like a bit more than this, which means I have a huge margin. I mean, this I could filter enough oxygen for five or six duplicates without any problem with this this one. So um, also, I don't know. This one is actually still dropping in temperature. This room now it is not as warm outside here as as I hope it to be later. So I probably need this, what these ones are, are, are right now, or they are uh, sandstone tile. So I might have to replace these with something with a bit higher terminal conductivity. Um, or at least warm the outside, otherwise it will like, probably be so cold here at some point if I keep this running so that um, the liquid oxygen is actually not converted to oxygen and this I can't really pump it out. But it's working really well. So the layer is like this. Um, I got an automatic grid here that, that sensors like it, just like in, in my first version, right? That sensors um, the pressure here to pump in uh, below 1000 grams of pressure. It's actually, right now, it's filtering more than I can pump in. So I'm pumping in like 500 grams per second. It filters out faster, so it's actually dropped a bit in, in uh, the density here. Um, also, here, a temperature check to make sure the gas flowing into these are not too. Uh, cold right so I won't so I down here um, won't have too cold hydrogen right I'm not running a risk of that right now and um, both pumps feeding uh, they're periodically shot off here when the gas coming out is too too low right now the gas coming out is 163 degrees and I put the safety net at 178 but sometimes like it's enough with like one of the gas here that is cold enough and it will actually so it's disabled by automatic grid right to keep the temperature so that means I got a lot more potential to come out of this thing um, what else um, well nothing really weird with the electricity grid and the pump just as I mentioned in the last video this one shuts off if it's too warm here right uh, and this just as I hoped created a kind of airlock to lock in the really cold air here to create a little bit of a warm, warmness, I guess, depends on perspective, minus 176 degrees right now, but, but still a bit warmer area than up here, right? Uh, so this is it, I got a working hydrogen bubbler, and, and this means I kind of solved oxygen without any water usage, uh, because this is just circulating the same water, right? And uh, 
So the only thing I'd really need is just a room full of uh, polluted oxygen. And there's so many ways I can create that. Um, I just had to transfer up, let's see, I have my pre-built morbs here, or quite a few of them. I can just spawn more, it's really easy to spawn them. You just put a normal outhouse, right? So let's see here, like one of these. And then I disable the normal laboratories, so they're forced to use them. And then when it's time to clean them, I just close the room, so they can't really clean them, and enables the normal laboratories. So if you have an uncleaned um, outhouse, it will start spawn warps after a while, right? So that's one way to do it. Of course, I can just put, I've been saving up on slime in, in this room with the puffs. I've been pumping all the polluted oxygen from different places over here. So I can just put a lot of slime in a locker and that will give polluted water as well. Or I can also have, of course, uh, uh, polluted dirt, right? So uh, a lot of ways for me to, it's just, I just need to put enough of the stuff there and, and, and that will make enough polluted, polluted oxygen, right? Also, polluted water gives off a little, so that won't be a problem. So that means I've solved the oxygen generation, and that's the first step. Step, of course, I haven't really solved this as I haven't set up the polluted oxygen, but that that's not really hard. So so that's kind of done. I just need to do it, right? All right. Thanks for watching, and the next episode I will start with uh, with the power plant because this this thing is working now and and far better than I hoped actually. All right. Cheers.